So it looks like a Chins, it smells like a Chins, but guess what? So this model, this is a new battery by Chins. It has a internal heater, which is wild because most of their batteries do not have low temp charging protection. So we're gonna rip it apart and see if it actually works. Oh, I didn't, I did not hit anything. Oh my gosh. I could have sworn I hit something. And look at that, it says Chins by EnjoyBot. So yeah, it's the same company. And who came up with these names? Chins and EnjoyBot for a battery company? This is the internal heater, it actually has one. Oh, no way. There is a Bluetooth. Yeah, there's a Bluetooth dongle. Yeah, it has Bluetooth, that's pretty cool. Come on, please. We good. God, they glued this one in here, good. Oh, guys, there are two heaters on this battery. One heater over here and one heater over here. Oh, look at this. They have four temperature sensors on this battery. Check it out, one, two, three, and four. And they also have a high temperature switch right here. This connector seems to have no purpose. They just shorted out these pins. Oh, wow. I've never seen Chins use one of these. I've never even seen this BMS ever before. And this plug up here doesn't look that good. I think I might have damaged it when I was opening it up. Yep, here's the other part of it. Yeah, there's no telling what happened there. It's probably my fault. So it looks like this BMS can handle 100 amps. This is B negative, C and P negative for the loads and the chargers. Um, NTC, that's the temp sensor. And then over here we have the balance lead. And NTC three and four down here. So yeah, one, two, three, four temperature sensors. And that's quite surprising for a chins, that's wild. So we're gonna try to download the app and see what happens. And it's connected. And look at that, so it's charging with 10 amps and it shows 10 amps on the shunt on the BMS. So the app seems to be working. Now let's test out these uh, temperature sensors. So it's still charging and we have some ice cold water and we're gonna dip one of the temperature sensors inside. Oh, look at that. Whoa, so it disconnected, it went from 10 amps to zero, and now it shot back up to 4.9 amps, so practically five amps. So the internal heaters are switched on and they feel warm. It actually works, how cool is that? And they're getting hot very quickly. That was so cool, they actually work, you guys. All right, let's heat this up and let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Now it's charging at full speed. That is so cool. Let's do it one more time. Okay, we stuck it in, drops to zero, goes back up to five amps. So we're pulling 73 watts with these heaters. How cool is that? And it has Bluetooth? Guys, this is pretty neat actually. Let's look up the price. I, I did not even look it up. Okay, this one costs more. $659 is what I'm seeing, which makes sense considering the features, but in other batteries with internal heaters cost a lot more. What comes to mind is the Renogy Smart series with the internal heaters that we tested previously. Um, also the Kilo Vault. Um, or the Battleborn, those have internal heaters as well. And look at this heated battery for Battleborn, same capacity as this one, costs $900. And they also have a coupon code, so you're actually saving more than $300 over the competitors, which is actually pretty impressive. I was making a lot of fun of these guys, but this is actually a pretty good battery so far. Let's test out the other temperature sensors to see if any of them do not work. So here's the second sensor, and it works. Sensor number three, and it works. Sensor number, oh, it's it turned on the heaters. Let's heat this one up again. There we go. That is so cool, I love that. In sensor number four, and it works. This is the first internally heated battery that's actually cheap. That's pretty impressive. This is pretty much the same price as an SOK, but you get an internal heater and Bluetooth. And they're also using the high quality internal heaters that the other more expensive batteries use. I was scared that they slapped like a car seat heater inside of here and those are pretty dangerous. So that would not be a good thing. But yeah, this thing is waterproof and sealed and it's glued to the side of here. You can see the coil through the pad. 
Also, these internal heaters do not run for very long. We did some tests previously because I was scared if they use too much power, um, but that's not an issue. If they're at low state of charge, it shuts these off and it waits until you actually charge the battery and then it'll switch them on. And then once the battery is up to the proper temperature with all four temp sensors, obviously, then it will start charging at full speed. And think about where the temp sensors are located right here and right here. So the heat would have to penetrate the cells and make it all the way to the center. So those are actually strategically placed, I think. And this BMS is made by VIP BMS. I've never heard of them though. So something we should look out for is BMS failures. Um, I do not know this BMS that well. So search the reviews and try to find anyone that has problems after a couple of months of running these. Typically these work really well in my reviews, but a few months later, these might start failing. So keep an eye out for that. We have tinned copper wire and they're using hydraulic crimpers for every single crimp. So actually kind of impressive. <laughs> I was not expecting this. I really thought they threw something badly together, but this is surprisingly good. It's very common at this price point for people to slap cheap cells together and throw it in a box and you never know what you're going to get. But every single one from EnjoyBot or Chins or Zooms or any of their other clone companies have actually had very good build quality. Also, they like to protect all of their cables, including their balance cable. And it's pretty organized when I opened it up. And the internal heaters have their own ring terminal. Um, it's soldered to that ring terminal, but they actually did it properly. Something else I like is the Bluetooth app connected instantly. With JBD BMS, sometimes it takes me like two or three minutes. It always connects eventually, but it's a pain in the butt. But I did like the Bluetooth app on here. So this battery is pretty cool, but I cannot get around the name. They call themselves Chins. Like your chin, but lots of chins. And then EnjoyBot is the parent company. Like you guys could call yourself anything in the world and you're selling batteries and you decided to call yourself that. I just, I do not understand, but this is very good for the price. They did build a pretty decent battery and a lot of people do not complain about them. And you can put these in a series up to 48 volts. So that's actually pretty cool. So they are adapting to the market and they are listening to what people have to say. Sometimes that matters more than anything else. Sometimes battery companies, they have good sales for a couple years and they're like, yeah, we don't have to change anything. We've got a good design and we're good to go. But companies like this, when they keep innovating and they keep listening to customers, you might see some cool stuff from them in the future. Imagine if they come out with a server rack battery that's even cheaper than the competition. So I'm going to keep my eye out for this company and see what they do next. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say. So if you disagree or if you think that they're a good company, please let me know down below. Also, I want to know about their customer service. If you guys have had any problems with them in the past, please leave a comment below so I know. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.